Hi, welcome back to Nexus Core. I'm Richard, and today I'm gonna to be opening up yet another box, a DBT-03, but this time I am in search of the Magnolia DSR. Why do I want a Magnolia DSR? Because I know Gabe wants a Magnolia DSR because Magnolia is Gabe's most favorite Vanguard unit and deck he's ever played in his entire life. I want to make one clarification. On top of Magnolia itself, a lot of the cards they make for her are just awful. I'm not sure how much of my problem is that I hate the card or that I hate the deck because just so many cards up and down the ladder are just Bad. And what better way for me to show that I care about my friend than getting him his favorite card. Before I get into the unboxing, I'm going to quickly talk about today's sponsor, which is Triple Sleeve TCG. I've talked about Triple Sleeve TCG in the past. They do case splits, playset splits. They also sell accessories such as card sleeves, clear over sleeves for those character sleeves. And you can also check out their vendor shop on TCG Player as well. So thanks again to Triple Sleeve TCG for always sponsoring our videos. Really means a lot to me that you guys are continuing to work with us. And without further ado, let's see if I can pull a Magnolia DSR. All right, here we are with our second box opening of DBT-03, Hunt for the Magnolia DSR. Gabe, this one's for you. We're gonna get it, buddy. Trusty uh, Wacom pen. Does it make it? It does. All right, get this peeled off. So if you don't already know what comes in a D booster set, so each box typically comes with three triple R's, one guaranteed SP. There's 16 packs. Each pack contains seven cards and of the seven cards, you'll get at least two, which are a rare or higher. So of course, cards to look out for in this set are gonna be things like the new Virena, which is the cover art card, uh, Greedon, Gravidia, and Flagbird are also some new ride lines that came out in this set as well. So those are some things to look out for, but uh, let's get our uh, DSR hunting on. So each box also comes with these little like punchy things. Oh, one's already got kind of punched out for me there. So you have markers for Magnolia, Orphist, Overtrigger, Boost, Drive Checks, things like that. Um, Final Rush, Abyssal Dark Knight, um, more markers about crits, intercept, uh, losing drive checks, which uh, Bruce is gonna be using in the near future. These are pretty helpful to have. Little ad for Vanguard Overdress and Vanguard Zero. You get one of those per display. So 16 packs total, so we should have eight on each side. These all put together, and we're gonna start opening these up. Let's go with our first pack. All right, we got some common, common, common. Some uh, decent comments here. Uh, this is a, uh, or not Worfist, a uh, Bruce rare card. This is gonna be important for the new Bruce that's gonna be coming out. Cause what it does is it gives your Vanguard a crit for the entire turn. And since Bruce is gonna restand anyways, that extra crit is gonna be, you know, significant as well. And also the fact that all your front row are getting 5K, it's a little added bonus. And we got our first triple R, which is Heavenly Shock of Distinction. Lagrily. So this is a new triple R card for Bastion and introduced a new playstyle for Bastion as well. So what it does is when it attacks, you kind of blast one and rest any number of your other rear guards. And this gets 5k and can perform drive checks until the end of the battle. Um, if you rested three or less, you have to discard three, uh, three cards. And if you discard uh, rested one or less, you have to discard an additional two. So if you rest one card, you have to discard a total of five cards. So that's just something to keep in mind when you're getting those extra drive checks. But overall, this card is honestly really, really, really helpful for the deck. All right, so that was our first triple R. Let's go ahead and move on to the next pack. So we got a common, 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 common. And we got the rare is gonna be the Brant Gate crit. So these new crits are actually really important for uh, standard in the moment, just because we're now getting crits with skills. So this is our first crit with a skill on it. So people are gonna be wanting these to take out their vanilla. So you wanna keep an eye out for these. And we got a hollowed out version of Best Harvest. So I believe Best Harvest is a rare it's an order card for Eugene. What it does is uh, choose one of your vanguards and your vanguard gets the skill of when your opponent's rear is retired during your main phase, you get to draw a card. So every single retire, you get to draw a card. So this is a really great card if you wanna uh, bump up your Eugene deck. 
All right, let's keep it going. Let's see. Blitz Interrupter. Um, ambush Kill Smoke, which is like a denial griffin for Eugene. Grade one for Keter. Uh, starter for Flagbird. So if uh, Charlocles. <laughs> Char Charlocles. So this is the, the grade zero that you would, if you wanted to keep the Flagbird to stack. Uh, Gravidia Common. Orlando. Oh, cool. That's a nice triple R. So we got Shadow Cloak. So Shadow Cloak is an important card for Zorga and also for a uh, premium Gridora deck. So what it does is when this is placed on Roof from Hand, you search your deck for an order. And if your drop zone does not have an order with the same name as the card, you discard the revealed card. Um, when you play an order, Rear Guard Circle, Soul Blast 1, this gets 5k. And if it was through Alchemagic, you choose one of the rear guards and you may return it to your hand. So that way you can get the on place, reduce the cost effect back. So that's really helpful as well. All right, cool. So that was our second triple R. Let's keep it going. All right, so we got some demon support, brute support, uh, common for Zorga. This thing is gonna be really good in premium, so keep keep an eye out for this thing. Common for Keter, best harvest rare. Oh, wow, we're just pl plowing right through the triple R's. Um, yeah, so we got uh, um, Howitzer Duff, Dust Storm Dustin. So this is a Eugene card. It's one of the placed on rear if your Vanguard is Eugene. You put a card from your hand into your soul, draw a card, choose one of your opponent's grade two or greater rear guards, and you retire it. So just, you know, being able to fill your soul, um, retiring things is nice. Uh, when it attacks, you can also get 2K for each of your opponent's open rearguard circle. So it's got like a Tempest Bolt aesthetic to it as well. So this is a really, really good addition for Eugene as well. All right, so we just went through all of our triple R's. So hopefully we uh, save that DSR Magnolia for last. All right, Orph is common. Dragon Empire, Keter, Branky, Keter. We got a rare for demons. Um, if your damage zone is four or more and you have greed on, on your van, this gets 5k. Uh, oh, the greed on on your van gets 5k. So this, when it's in the soul, it helps stack greed on's power. My mistake. Uh, when it's wrote upon by greed on, so this is for the ride chain, search your deck for a card the same name as this card and put it into your hand. So that's cool. You get to help fill your board that way we got a double r this is a hex orb support uh what this does is if your vanguard is a grade three or greater you search deck for hex orb and put it to your hand so you just get persona ride super easy for a counter blast and that's it I'm going on to the next pack we got a common for more gravidia support yabba dabba dabba uh Mil Momo, we got Tear Croca, um, Burst Dragon. So this also this gives a unit uh, the skill that if it's at the first battle it can restand. So that helps the Flagbird's effect to get off multiple attacks. And we got Cardinal Fang Rayosia. So this is for Orphist, and it lets you call more Shadow Army tokens. Oh, there's our SP. Oh, so much for our uh, um, Magnolia. But hey, it's an SP for. Uh, for Magnolia, so I guess, you know what, this, this this will count for now. Sorry, Gabe, but I guess I got you an SP. Uh, what does this do? When this is placed on rear or put on the guard circle, if your vanguard is Magnolia, this unit gets 5k power and 5k shield, and then back row, at the end of the battle that this unit attacked, you may return this to your hand. So even though it's an 8k, um, comes a 13k attacker, and then it can bounce back to your hand, the shield, so it's pretty decent. Uh, say like mid ground card so that was most of the high rare pulls for uh for this box maybe we can keep going see if we can get another triple r common common more interceptors commons we got a rare this is a blaster support so when this is retired you look at the top three and um you add a blaster to your hand and we got a double R, which is Steam Mage Ash Asherta. So this got uh, the uh, that that one premium band with uh, Dantarian. 
If your soul is seven or more cards, this gets 5k shield. When this is retired from the guard circle, you put this near your soul. So it's kind of mostly Barrow Magni support, but you could use this, I guess, with um, Bruce too, just to fill up your soul. It's like a tech. All right, keep going. We got a common, common, uh, more uh, Flagbird support there. Zorga support for a rare. Unappeasable Wild Crow. Uh, if you played an order card this turn, discard a card. Discard an order card and you can draw. And then wish for tomorrow. It's a more like a Hex Orb support card than anything. Oh, cool. We got a Hollow. Uh, Desired Devil Actress. So what does this do? When this unit is put from rear into your soul by Vanguard's ability, you choose one of your Vanguards, it gets 10k, so you're able to, you know, increase your Vanguard's attack when it restands. So that's pretty cool. So we got a few more, we got a lot of packs to, to work with here. So let's keep it going. All right. Common, common. Keeping it going with the commons. We got another crit with the skill. This is one's for Stoicaea. So, you know, it's end of battle, boosted, moves into your soul, choose a unit and it gets 2k, so being able to fill your soul is probably gonna be really helpful for Zorga, as well as Magnolia, I'm, I'm sure, just with the soul in general. And another double R, which is Bruce support. If you're in final rush, count plus one, two other rearguards in your soul, choose a card from your soul and you call it, and that unit gets 10k, so you're able to fill your soul to do the soul boss five for a final rush, so. That can be a helpful card for Bruce. I can see it. All right, got some generic Dragon Empire commons, things that gain power. This is when it restands to help something restand. Meteor cards. So this is a new order for Gravidia. So Gravidia removes or you play as many meteors into your order zone as you can, and then Gravidia removes the orders to do effects. So you're going to be running 16 meteors in your deck, which is pretty cool. Uh, Bar uh, Barramagni support and another crit with the skill. So this is our third one. So this one's the one for Dragon Empire. Same skill. When it, after the end of the battle, it boosts. You move to Soul. Give something 2k. And we got a Hollow. It's a uh, Pandemonium Tactics. So what this does, you play the order count plus one. You Soul Charge four, and then if you're Fire Rush, you perform the following abilities. If you have six or more cards in your Soul, you draw a card. If you have eight or more cards, all your front row get 10k. If you have 12 more cards, you choose one of your vanguards and it gets a crit. So that can be pretty helpful. You know, since it is getting a crit until the end of turn, that will help with the new Bruce as well, since that Bruce is gonna be able to restand, you know, during final rush. So put that aside. Next pack. Got a common, common, commons. Get those commons out of the way. Starter, rare. Uh, if when it's placed and you, uh, when your opponent's card is placed from your order zone, so like your prison, you get to soul charge one, so filling your soul. And a double R. This one's for Flagbird. It's a really really cool art. I love this art. At the end of the battle, that flagship. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. At the end of the battle, that this unit attacked a rearguard. If your vanguard is Flagbird, you soul blast one. You stand this unit. So. Pretty, pretty good go-to in terms of getting off multiple attacks just so that you can get off the seven or more, I believe it is with Flagbird for the skill. So there's a really good card for Flagbird. All right, next up, let's see. Common, common. A lot of Dragon Empire commons I've been seeing. Might just be me. Oh, cool, another critical. So this one's the one for Keter Sanctuary. So you got another... Um, crit with the skill at the end of battle boost, you know, move to soul 2k. So, I think the only one we're missing right now is the dark states one, so it's pretty cool to keep going. Oh, cool, another triple R. So, we got our fourth triple R. This is the second box I've gotten with four triple R's, so I don't know if that's the new standard or not. Uh, but it's Derek. So, if you're in final rush, this gets 5k, and then the second skill, which is really, really good. It's act count plus one, put a rear guard into your soul, choose one of your opponent's rear guards for every four cards in your soul and you retire them. So you got a bunch of cards in your soul, 
easy, you know? That can be uh, that can be used for barrel magnes if you want to. Then if you're in Final Rush, you look at the same number of cards at the top of your deck as the same number of your opponent's open rearguard circles, choose any units from among them and call them in the rear, put the rest into your soul. So it fills you soul, builds you a board, and can kill off your opponent's board all with one counter blast and putting a rearguard in your soul. So overall, Derek is just a really, really, really good key card for Bruce. So you definitely want to get your hands on this if you want to play Bruce. We've got four packs left, so let's keep it going. Let's see. Common, 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 common. And first rare, it's uh, reveal a flag bird or iron shooter from your hand for this cost when this unit is rode upon. You soul blast one other than this card and you call this to the rear guard circle so it helps you fill your board. When you're the rear guard attacks a vanguard, if your vanguard is flag bird, you counter blast one, you stand this unit. So getting off more attacks that way too. We got a double R, um, Madoka. If your opponent's drop zone is four or more cards, this gets 2k and 5k shield. If it's eight or more cards, this gets another 5k shield. So 15k blocker is really decent for, you know, if you want to stay alive, especially in standard, since things are just kind of getting power creep to be slightly bigger power numbers, um, but helps block magic numbers, so that's really nice. Last three packs, last three packs. So let's uh, see if we can get through the last bit real quick. We got a Steel Bullet, Dust Storm, Ethan. So when your Vanguard's attack hits, you retire this, draw a card, and counter charge. So pretty easy counter charge support if you want to just throw it in for that. And Hollowed, Gravidia, Privam. So when this attack hits, you search your deck for one Meteorite, put in your zone, shuffle your deck. So it's just a really easy on hit, get, in, get a Meteor. All right, last two packs. Skipping through these. This is uh, Keter Sanctuary. Uh, when you reveal a trigger, you put a card from your hand to your soul and you draw a card. And then we got a double R for Seraph Snow support. This is Lemonin, Lemonin, Lemonin. When this, when this unit attacks, you can't blast soul blast three. Choose three of your opponent's rearguards and you imprison them. If there are three or more cards in that are imprisoned into your prison, this gets 10k, and if it's five or more, this gets a crit, so this can be helping out with finishers in that way as well. And the last pack, let's see. Skip through these commons real quick. Oh, there it is, we got the dark, we got all five uh, crits for the uh, the one, the new crits with skills. So we got one of each, so that's, makes it easier to, to finish some decks, so that's cool. And last one is just a rare, it's for gravity support. Uh, if your order zone is three or more meteorites, soul blast two, you counter charge one, and this gets 5k, so counter charge support's always pretty helpful there. And a hollowed Rayosia, so helps you build tokens, but a hollowed version is pretty, pretty cool. So that was it, that was the whole box. So I'm just gonna go over our pulls real quick. So we got four triple R's, we got Lagro, Lagro. We got Shadow Cloak, good, good boy over there. We got Dustin for some combo Eugene uh, Tempest Bolt style support. We got uh, Derek, which is like really OP card for uh, Bruce there. Should have been support for Barrow Magnes, but here we are. And our SP is kind of just whatever. It's Sylvan Horn Beast, Ember, so you know, Good for shield, but I don't really know if Gabe's gonna be running it, but we'll see after I give it to him as a friendship card. Nice, uh, shiny SP right there. So that was it for our high rarity pulls, and that's pretty much how the box went. Sad that I didn't get myself my little Magnolia DSR, but we'll see how it goes in the near future. So yeah, that was it. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.